Hello guys, welcome back to part number seven of Let's Play The Sims 4, The Barnes Bros. I say that every single freaking time. The Barnes Bros. Kids at school, mom and my husband are off doing what they do. Jen is really solo dolo with nothing but me and Gato Loco here on the scene. So finally, I feel like things are back to normal. And I can be my crazy old self. Not that I can't be anyway, because let's just trust and believe that I am. But y'all know my my weirdness with the whole filming and people around thing. But anyway, um, one of the main requests, like the main requests, did I mention the main requests? Um, to um, do was to bring in somebody else's. Hello, Justin Mugga. Uh, bring in somebody else's creations into the game. See, I really don't want a roommate yet. Um, because I just, I mean, we kind of do need a roommate, actually. To be 100% honest, I'm, I don't know if we should bring in a girl. I don't know. I kind of want to, just temporarily, maybe. Mm, but, or create a household of females and then put them in our game. Um, so I think I'm going to go with the first option first. I'm going to actually go ahead and I am going to use the hashtag, and that is the, uh, whatchamacallit, um... The, my phone is buzzing, actually. I just got um, a tweet, and I think it was a retweet of one of my pictures or something. I don't know. Anyway, um, so I'm, like, spacing because I'm, like, all over the place. But let's go ahead and use my ta hashtag. Um, I don't use this one as much, but I use them both. U.S. We'll use one of each. Um, USLP, that is Urban Sims Let's Play. And I think what we're going to do is we are going to... Um, Hello. Okay. Um, we are going to pick out uh, a couple of girl sims, a couple of guy sims. We'll do two girls, two guys, and we'll add them into the, into the, you know, into my game. Not my specific LP, but, like, into my world, my existence. And I'm just going to double check that these are indeed okay. So let's go ahead and choose some. I can pick a household, or I can just kind of mix and match. Again, I look for sims that catch my eye, and they all are catching my eye. Um, let me see here. Oh my goodness, these two are beautiful. The Wallace sisters. Not everything is what it seems with these two. Ooh la la. Okay, so we got Aurora and Lily. I like them. So I'm actually going to save them to my library. Um, we'll use them. Probably. Uh, I wouldn't doubt it. And then I'm just going to go ahead and leave a comment. Love these. I think they know. See, sometimes you guys don't use all the hashtags, so I have to, like, look individually. Okay, so we got two um, females. And I'll be doing more of this. So, of course, like, if you get offended or feel like, you know, I'm not picking I don't know because this is this is why I love having you guys involved but I also it kind of makes me feel like I I wish I could just pick everybody but as you can see like there's a lot of sims you know and I'll switch them out and and put them in and you know all different sorts of fun stuff so now I'm looking for some boys oh my god they are so cute Guccio Adamaletto and brother Lorenzo oh my god they they're awesome I love them all right, so let's use the other hashtag since I used this one real quick. Um, it's just so many. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Whoa, you guys. <laughs> oh, my God. So many hashtags and so many creations. Um, Urban Sims. LPY isn't that right. X Urban Sims X. Um, I like this guy. I mean, I kind of found him randomly, but he looks cool. So we'll, we'll download him, too. I like him, and we'll give it a like. And this one is by the Boy, you trying to get me to swear? It ain't happening. You can read. I like Joey Van Dam. He's cute. Mm-hmm. He's so fun. Ow. Sure, sure. That's what's happening. Okay, so we got him, and now I got to pick one more. Uh, using the actual legitimate hashtag. You guys, X Urban Sims XLP, USLP. Those are the hashtags. I'm so happy I found you by accident, though. Okay, so one more dude, and we're going to call it a great time. Or maybe more. Who knows? Um, and we're just going to compile them all, actually. 
I need a guy in my life. Um, it's not a contest, babe. All right, Falls, I like you. You're different. Uh, meet Alexander Falls, a tough guy on the outside, yet extremely huggable teddy bear on the inside. He wishes for a family that he can all eight or blue gills. Me gusta mucho. Gracias. I love it. Okay, we're going to go ahead and... So this is going to be the last one because I could probably do this all day. We're going to like it because that's what we do. Still waiting to let... Okay. Um... <clears throat> There we go. So now that we've got our four sims, I can go back to my library. And you can all see all their creations, I think, too, of people I've downloaded. I don't know. Maybe not. But um, for everybody who's wondering who the Barnesboros were by, they are originally by um, Brad1326. These are my bros. Uh, the Wallace sisters are by Miss Nothing14. I already said Mr. Van Dam over here is by the Fucktron. Okay, I said he happy. All right, and then Mr. Falls is by um, eight blue or eight Lou Gills or eight or blue Gillis or something like that. So what I'm gonna do is just compile these all into a house, and we will pick up with the Barnes Bros. Just joking, I'm back. So we're actually just going to go ahead and place them next to the sand trap flat. Yep, that's what we're going to do. Okay, so they're in here now. And then I'm actually going to go and go. So this is easy. This is easy. I thought I'd have to do all this, like, fancy, smanchy stuff. So we're going to go ahead and move them in. Yep. All right. So these Wallace sisters, they're going to be so damn excited because they're going to have all these men in the house. And we'll be able to go visit them and, you know, just interact with them and all that kind of stuff. Uh, that house is kind of crappy, so I'm sorry you have to live here. And we can always add in more Sims, too, later on. So, all right, cool. I didn't even need to, like, pause and break and all that crap. So let's just go ahead and pick up with the bros. Um, what else was it? There were so many suggestions, and I love it because it actually gives me, like, life. Um, I added in two new lots, which we will probably visit. I added in my lot that I created, um, which is called the Burnt Beans, or the Burnt Bean. Um, it's not an insult. <laughs> and then also um, a lot that I downloaded I forgot the name, but well, it's like a nightclub, and it's really, really cool. I suggest it highly. So let's just go ahead and pick on up from where we began here. I'm just going to write something down. Do, do, do. Sorry, if you hear the mic moving, that is mi mano. Okay, so one thing that needed to be done or that you guys suggested is that uh, Mr. Christopher here, he changes his career. Since we are so damn close to that promotion and we need it like a hole in the head, we're going to wait until he gets promoted. And then we're going to go ahead and put him into the cooking career. Because like I said, Christopher wants to start being taken a little bit more seriously. Aaron, on the other hand, has no idea that his brother's upstairs using his damn thinking majigger. But that's okay. Um, I'm actually going to go take Aaron over to the burnt bean. Um, the lot I created. And actually, no. Mrs. Zoe or Zoe is here still. Okay. Um, well, I mean, I guess we could go and try to take her out, right? So let me go ahead and, um, do a little bit of a pick-up line here. I am in no rush to get these two hitched, married, and the whole jazz. That's something about my LPs y'all gotta understand, is that, um, is I take it slow, you know? Like, it's, it's, I want to go through each phase. I just don't want to get, like, a gunshot. If you can sit down, I will laugh. A uh, gunshot wedding. I don't know what you're doing. That was gross. I'm sorry. I like. I'm like congested. So apparently, he is killing it over here. I don't know what the hell he just did, but he is embarrassed or whatever the case is. I don't know. He embarrassed himself. I wish we could like do. S no, we're not gonna share insecurities. We're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna gossip a little bit, or maybe just take Zoe out. She's looking really down in the dumps and so is he like look at this face it's so sad but we do need to have him play video games like a lot so i don't really know what's happening here she's apparently not interested and he wants to hide from everyone oh poor aaron he needs a moment guys he needs a moment and i think chris is going to work right now Okay, one thing I wanted to point out that I just recently discovered is that when you click these little two peoples, little persons, um, you can actually pick what you want to do. So we're going to, we're going to, um, we're going to work hard today because I really want to get that promotion so we can go ahead and quit, which is very odd. 
that we would do that. But the reason for the promotion is we'll get some money, some dinero, which we need. And yeah, his job doesn't really pay a lot anyway. Um, Aaron would love to get a promotion right now. So I was going to take Zoe um, over to the Burnt Bean, but I don't know if I really like Zoe or I really like Summer, to be honest. So what I'm going to do is just travel by myself. I'm going to leave this hooker here. So she upset me. She denied me. And Aaron ain't having it. He's kind of one of those guys like... I don't know how to explain him. He's like, you, what? Like, how could you deny this? I mean, come on. Shh, sexy. But anyway, I don't know. He just kind of played it off terribly. I think he embarrassed himself. I don't know. Um, so over here is where my burnt bean is. I don't know if I, I have to rename it, actually. Because right now it's called something else. But the name of the coffee shop is the burnt bean. And it's on my gallery if you're interested. And my origin name is Gen2606. Oh, I just burped. That's so gross. Oh, you can hear everything with this mic. It's kind of annoying. Like, if I even so much as, achoo, you can hear it. Um, okay, I'm, like, so, like, lately I've been talking so much. Like, I'm out of breath already, and that sucks. But here is the coffee shop I created. We have the outside, the back side, like this. A little garden area, some seating. Yep, a whole bunch. And then over here we have a fountain with a complimentary penguin aka the flamingo um inside joke for all of those who really know what it is and yes it's just kind of i did it the reason why i'm like jumping through this is because like i will have a video for you guys that will be up and it will be like an in-depth sort of deal so right now we're just kind of doing it and this is like the bottom floor and he can go and have some coffee or tea or whatever he would love to do. The cool thing is, is that there's some nice computers up here we can use. So let's go ahead and play some games. We're going to play, do we play Sims Forever yet? I don't think we did. So let's go ahead and do that. He's feeling embarrassed. So I'm sure he would appreciate some quality, some quality gameplay here. And this is like such a freaking throwback. Would you guys mind if I had a, a little, um, Frito flavor twist honey barbecue. Mmm. So good. Okay. That's rude. Mm-hmm. I won't do that again. Mm-hmm. Okay, so actually, he only has a little bit more to go before he maxes this out. And there we go. That was that simple. Play giddy video play video games. Play video games for four hours, which we did. We're having tons of fun. Let's go ahead and see what else we can do on the computers. We can write jokes, practice programming, um, find a job, quit job. We can do some web stuff. We're going to actually have Mr. Hottie Pants over here research some sweet pickup lines. Yeah, real sweet pickup lines because he don't really get that swagger like Mick Jagger, if you get what I'm saying. But we're going to try it out. Okay, and Chris is still at work. Um, I don't know how hard he's working right now. I don't know if he's still working hard. And I'm moving around in my chair. So sorry. Um, I got garbage everywhere. Actually, not early, but, you know. Yeah, hopefully he'll get a promotion here. So let's see. These are the sweet pickup lines. Um, and why are you... Why do you have a... Are you listening to music or something? I don't understand why he had the remote in his hand. But... So we're looking them up. I'm not sure if anything happened. He's feeling flirty. Ooh. Um, I know it's a little bit late, but maybe we can call Summer. Let's do it. Let's um, invite to hang out. Okay. So we do like Summer. We actually get a, a lot. We get a lot. Wait, what? We get along better with, with Zoe. But... I feel like Summer would be more wifey material, and then Zoe's just kind of like, you know, whatever. And then someone was just like, why are you going through all these girls? Just pick one. Honey, this ain't a bag of Skittles. You can't just pick one, okay? You just can't. You gotta pick multiple to see which one is the right one. And I have no idea if she even is coming over or not. So we'll try that one more time. I think it actually might be too late. She's probably like, dude, I'm coming over. Okay, Summer is busy right now. I have no idea what she's busy with, but that's okay. Uh, let me go ahead and see what else we can do down here. Um, there's a lot of things I wanted to explore. Uh, let me see what his traits are again. Um, 
Let me see. He loves to get outdoors. He's genius and he is creative. So why don't we go downstairs? I mean, he's kind of like a little bit tired, but not too tired. And we're going to have him do a flirty painting for a hundred simoleons. Yes, we need to finish this. So even if we stay the night and rest and whatever at the burnt bean, we need to finish this painting. So let's just zoom through here. Um, right now it's stick figures. It's not that creative or that great, but I mean, it looks like we're almost done with it. Um, and he's, he is a creative sim, so hopefully it'll be cute. Oh my god, it is actually kind of cute. Sell to collector, enable Aurora, emotional Aurora. Um, we are going to put this in our inventory. <laughs> I don't know if that's supposed to be Aaron and, and his girl, but whatever. All right, let's just go upstairs and use the bathroom real fast. That was so cute. We'll have to hang that up in our house. And uh, I think, I, I don't know if I mentioned this for you guys, but I, I know that the house that we're currently in isn't like the, you know, granddaddy of all granddaddies. And I know I can build one, but I kind of want to, I kind of want to earn some more cash before we go and get a nicer house or whatever. So if that makes any sense at all. So we're just going to have him use the restroom and wash his hands. Do, do, do. It's actually 1 o'clock in the morning. He needs to go to work in 9 hours. I think that's all there is really for us to do here. He wants to schedule a date. Um, like I said, we're going to probably have him... Um, I mean, it is Friday tonight, technically. I think it would be really cool if we had the boys go out and and do something um if they are off together i don't think they will be but maybe when we change chris's career that will be a possibility but i think once i don't know i think it'll be okay because i really want to go to that new venue or any venue to be honest and um you know just kind of interact with some more females there's also a whole bunch of other stuff i want to do on my list um like i wanted to check out crick cabana I think it's called Crick Cabana because I guess there's like some sort of secret like, you know, cool stuff in there um, where like a tree or something that's really majestic and then we can go ahead and like, you know, we can like check it out and just really explore and, 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 and see what else is around this amazing town. So let's just go ahead and put this on the wall. It looks so ridiculous, but we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to name it and we're going to name it <laughs> Summer. <laughs> and Aaron. No, we're going to name it Blue Summer. Let's just do that. Yep, Blue Summer. Because there's Summer and Aaron's a little freaking creepy. Okay. So now we have Blue Summer made by Aaron. Oh, it's worth 106. Um, and it has a flirty ambience to it, which we should definitely put in the bedroom, but I don't know where Aaron got this from, but I think this would look really cool in his room, actually. So let's just go ahead and put this in here so i don't know if this will work with these but what i'm thinking will maybe work is if we do this we do i think it's shift and i want to say this guy here i don't think so no oh oh i did it oh my god look at the size of this thing holy crap is it really happening Okay, I just made this thing damn near gigantic, and I don't even know what to do about it. So now we have this creepy guy in our, in our, okay, there we go. So look at that. How cute is this? Oh, there we go. We're going to keep it in here, and he, we're going to also enable emotional aura. Um, so Chris got his promotion, guys. Let's give him a high five, Christopher. Yeah, buddy, rolling like a big shot. Mmm, daddy. Mm -hmm. He is feeling... Trapped, non-committable, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so maybe he wants to change his job now. I don't know how much we got Um, for, I wasn't paying attention, but we are now a ringleader and we only make $17 an hour. He's just kind of over it. He, you know, yeah, like, when, he doesn't want to be that, that butthole that everybody thinks he is. Do you know what I mean? So he's going to quit his job. He's probably going to have to sneak upstairs and use freaking Aaron's tab cast thingy, but we're going to go ahead and do it anyway. Um, no, we can't. We can't use it. So let me see. Just use our phone. Quit job. It's going to feel like the best day ever. Um, and he's so stressed out from work, too, as well. He's like, you can take your job and shove it up your... Okay. Um, are you sure you want to quit your job, ringleader? Please don't call me that. Yes. Oh, it is the best day ever, and he is so happy. Look at him. 
smiling ear to ear. Oh my god, I love him. Okay, so look, I mean, just, just look at his cute little grin. He is so happy, right? Okay, so let's just go back and find a job now. <laughs> I mean, we're in no position to be unemployed. That is for darn sure. He wants to also go jogging. So tomorrow, or actually later on today, we'll definitely do that as well. Okay, he is going to be in the culinary career. Um, he is going to start off as a, an assistant dishwasher. He is going to make 15 pesos an hour, and his schedule sucks. He's going to work from 4 p.m., to 1 a.m. But hopefully what will happen is, is he'll be able to, um, he works in 12 hours. Maybe he'll be able to come out with us like after work. Maybe. I don't know. Because I really wanted him to be able to have a life. His days off are uh, Tuesday and Thursday. So that party thing that we were going to do on Sunday is probably not going to happen. But like they have no days off together, which isn't, I'm not complaining because they don't get along that much, but I don't know. All right. So let's go ahead and have him go upstairs. In your eyes, he finally switched his job. So I hope you're hope you're happy about that. Um, Aaron goes to work here in about five hours, and he should also get himself a pretty mighty fine promotion. Uh, he's feeling a little hungry, and that's pretty much about it. Aaron's in a, and Aaron's in a good mood, but I really want Aaron to like date because that's kind of like what he wants to do. Um, date somebody anyway. I don't know who would get the girl first. To be honest, I don't know what's going to happen, but how does he feel? He feels focused. Read a book at the library from Genius Trait. He's feeling very focused. So hopefully that focus will transfer on to his job. Um, let's go ahead and see if anything um, is in here to eat. Uh, there is some grilled cheese, scrambled eggs. Let's go ahead and grab a serving of that. We need to plant more bushes and stuff. Oh, he's just going to go to work? Oh, he is just going to work. Just joking. He is super hungry. Hopefully, they'll feed him lunch. But we're going to have to plant. Oh, oh my God. We're going to have to take care of our plants. Oh, my God. They actually brought this back with the little happy faces and smiley faces sort of thing. Oh, my God. That's so cute. Because I remember that was in The Sims 2, and it was, like, really helpful to see if your plant was doing good or not. Um, oh, our bae has to go pate. <laughs> I love his little pink underwear. So some of you were thinking if he was attracted to the opposite sex. Well, I don't know. That's something we'll have to find out. I mean, I'm not going to tell you every little quirk or anything about these sims. These, this is all part of the storyline. If I give it all away now, there's no point in watching. And honestly, I don't even know if he is myself. So I mean, is it something that could happen? Absolutely. It could happen. I mean, Aaron could even turn out that way. Um, to end up, you know, being gay or whatever the case is. I mean, it doesn't, oh my gosh, it's such a sensitive subject. I know it's not something that just happens, but I mean, turn out as in like, you know, part of the storyline sort of thing. I have to be really careful with my words, but we all know. Well, maybe we don't know, but I have people who are very close to me that are gay or, you know, whatever you want to call it. Um, and obviously I have no issue with that. So I don't want anybody twisting my words. Mm -hmm. I see you boo boo getting ready to type some, some interesting comments down below. But yeah, you, you get what I'm saying. If you understand me, you feel me. So he's going to have this grilled cheese, and we're going to have him go for a little bit of a jug here. But he's going to drink that energy juice first. Let's do that because I feel like he is – oh, he just drank it with his – um he drank it with his uh grilled cheese. Cute. And so let's just go have him do an energized jog. Yep. That's what he's going to go do. He's going to go run around, maybe meet somebody. I mean, we could have even went to the park and did it. Actually – once he's done with his old jog, I think we're going to have him go to Crick, Crick Cabana and check it out. But look at him go. He's focused. He's ready. He's going to work out. He's going to feel great. It's all going to just come together here. Okay. And who the hell is this creepy dude back here? I don't even know. All right, Christopher. Let's just speed it up a little bit. Because what time does he go to work? Okay. He's actually reached level three. Some of the things that we need to do um, are clean dishes three times. That will get us a promotion. And he works in three hours, so maybe he won't be going to Crick Cabana. But I'm actually starting to see a little bit... Oh, you just totally ran into her. <laughs> he was just like, move! Pulling the ludicrous over here. He's like, excuse me, thank you. Looking at him all week. What the hell are you wearing? Was it sock day today or something, sir? You? Oh my god, you too, boo-boo? Match made in heaven. Match. All right, so he is just kind of running around a little bit. Who's this girl? Is this one of the Wallace sisters? We definitely need to visit them. 
We really do. I like this house. I wish we had it. Okay, so he is feeling awesome, amazing, much better. So let's go ahead and have him clean dishes three times. So we are going to clean up. And that's going to be one. We're just actually going to probably make a freaking mess just so we can clean the dishes. No, 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 no. You're going to wash the... No, don't... Oh, wait. Wait, let me see what's going to happen here. He's going to go all the way down the street or across the street to throw this little Sandy away. Okay. All right. So you got the plate now, boo-boo? Okay. So, no, I don't want you to throw it away. Damn it. Okay, that doesn't count, does it? Oh, clean dishes three times. I don't know why that counted, but it does. Okay, great. And we don't have bills yet, do we? No. So let me go ahead and see. He needs to take a quick shower because actually work is about to start right about now. Let's have him take a speedy shower because, I mean, we're in the mood. Why not have it be done, right? What are you doing? The hell you think is... Oh, Jennifer, I'm sorry. No, actually, you know what? I'm not. You need to take yourself a speedy shower. Where are you going? with yourself. I'm just curious. Why are you going back there? Oh my god. I thought you guys were supposed to be smarter. You can't even figure out how the hell to... Oh. <laughs> oh. Did you get it? Yeah? yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm supposed to be a little bit smarter. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry, Christopher. I'm so... Wait, am I sorry? Am I sorry? I'm sorry. Okay. Alright, so now he's in there taking a shower and we're gonna take a little peeky peek make sure you get your cheeky squeaks or squeaky cheeks or whatever you want to call it but I think work should be starting here in a minute and uh, I think he gets off at six so there'll be a couple hours here where we are um you know MIA I guess I'm probably gonna just play for five more minutes and then I'll call it quit so we'll probably end up going um in the next part too um the club or the venue or whatever so i'm loving it oh i'm so excited to see what happens with these two i really want to go to the creek the creek cabana so it's kind of like one of my goals let's just get aaron off and then we'll go ahead and do that because he also wants to plan a date so that will be what happens in the next part so okay promoted to quality assurance aaron has been promoted to quality assurance he will now make an additional seven dollars an hour for a grand total of 38 pesos an hour he has also received the following bonus 375 dollars in a stainless auto pot his next shift is monday at 10 a.m Woo! we have the weekend off party pop party uh 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 oh yeah all right aaron dude that's a high five. He is feeling himself. Look at him. Focused. Focused. So focused. Okay. So enough with the jibba jabba. Let's go ahead and um, we need anything. We're hungry. Ah, shoot. Okay. But I don't really care. So let's just go travel real fast and um, see if we can maybe get our culitos over to the... Um, no. I want to go. Ew, you're going to eat that? No, you're not. Aaron, don't eat it. It's green. Oh, it's you, actually. <laughs> Just kidding. What was that? I felt like... I felt like, who is it that laughs like that? <laughs> I don't know. It's it's a cartoon, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know where that came from. That was embarrassing. Anyways, can't go back now. All right, so let's go over there and see if we can find this mysterious tree that I hear of. I'm not sure where the hell Crick Cabana is anyway, so... Um, I think it's in Willow Creek, right? Creek Cabana. Okay, so it is, you have to go to this lot, and I think there is the mysterious tree back here. I'm not sure on it, but I guess we will always have to find out. These freaking chips are staring at me. I want to eat them. Like, I really I want to eat them. I want to eat them. All right, so here is the tree. Um, isn't it? Or no, this isn't the freaking tree. This is a joke. Where's the damn tree, Jen? Okay, so it's definitely got to be somewhere in here. Okay, that's definitely not it. Um, what if, like, what if, right? What if, for some strange reason, I got the short end of a very short stick here, and it just doesn't work out for me? That's really a good way to look at it. Oh, I like all these, like, telephone lines and stuff. Seriously, this is the only special tree I see, and that ain't it. Are you serious? 
Oh, I'm just trying to. I was so excited. Yeah, like, look, it's this Crick Cabana. I wrote it down, and this damn thing don't work. Oh my god. I might have to go take a peeky peek. I'll probably figure it out. And then in the next part, we will explore this tree here. Because I'm sure, like, I'm positive it's around here somewhere. But before we roll out like a Girl Scout, let me just make sure I didn't miss anything. Um, we're going to go and ramsack these... Um, Oh, no, nothing's actually worth anything yet. So I was going to say, we're going to go harvest everything. Maybe, like, the tree needs to all f also harvest or something. I don't know. I guess we can just go ahead and end this part. I'm going to look just to make sure. Um, maybe I didn't screw anything up. I could have sworn this is the tree. Oh, my God, look how beautiful the sun is. <gasps> but, you know... Wouldn't be the first time. So anyways, guys, I'm actually going to go ahead and wrap it up here. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe. And like always, I will see you in my... <laughs> I will see you all in my next LP. Damn it. Bye, guys.